Hey everybody, hope your week is going great. We've almost made it to the weekend, so that means that we're watching some training footage and I'm reading an older blog. Today this one is called, Something is Better Than Nothing. Well duh, but tell me more. The year is 2020. Everyone is invigorated with the new year, new me vibes. You're crushing it so far, getting up early to meditate, drinking more water, heading to the gym five times a week for an hour each time. You're keeping up with all your new year's resolutions, but then, something happens. You forget to set your alarm. Your boss calls an emergency meeting on short notice. Someone hits your car. Your Aunt Janice calls you out of the blue to talk about her cat Jerome, coughed up the biggest hairball she's ever seen. In short, you are short on time. So much for the new year, new me. Wrong. Let's be real here for a second, y'all. Life is full of unforeseen obstacles, and when they arise, there's not much we can do other than accept the day has now shifted. We have to focus on what we can control, not the circumstances we can't. Although it may not seem like it, you're in control of much more than you think. So what does this have to do with anything? Well, it has something to do with everything, and something is definitely better than nothing. So let's explore that in a variety of ways. There goes my day, wrong again. When that, ah shit, my whole day is messed up now, moment happens because of something unforeseen, I challenge you to switch that mindset to, oh well, looks like I'll have to do some more shifting around to accomplish what I want today. Flexibility is the only way those resolutions can stay mostly intact. Letting go of the things that are out of our control and focusing on those that are gives us the power to still accomplish something, even if it might not be everything we wanted. Because again, something is always better than nothing. Let's run with some of those hypotheticals I first laid out for us as examples. Your alarm doesn't go off, or you forget to set it. Now there's no time for the gym. Maybe so, but I guarantee you have five, three to five minutes to do as many burpees as you can. If you've never done the burpee in your life, you can check out the video instruction on the Instagram and replacement exercises. On your way to work, your boss sends you an invite to a last minute meeting during your lunch hour when you were planning on hitting the gym. Shit, foiled again. Wrong. Hike the 14 floor staircase up to the conference room with that fancy new laptop you got for Christmas tucked under your arm. So what if you show up to the meeting looking sweaty, winded, and like you just got mugged? It's a hypothetical anyways. Something is better than nothing. You left your water bottle at home, on the bus, or metro, in your friend's car, in your submarine. Great, there goes the resolution of drinking seven gallons of water a day. For the love of all you hold dear, please don't set that as a goal. Wrong again. Borrow a water bottle from someone at work. Walk to the store on break and buy a water bottle. Just recycle it when you're done. Shit, hit the bathroom, turn the faucet on, cup your hands under the running water, and start lapping away like a dog. Something is better than nothing. All too familiar Apple ringtone sounds and your 63-year-old Aunt Janice mugs interrupts the screen of your phone. You take a huge sigh and answer the call going on minute 47 of a conversation you couldn't give less of a shit about as you're a dog person and can't stand her Garfield looking hairball of a cat she calls Jerome. Besides, you're right in the middle of your mindfulness meditation about allowing others into your life. Hopefully I'll catch my irony here. There goes all the zen you built up. Nope. Take your morning commute as time to look inward. As a dude with Napoleon syndrome who can barely see over your bank telling counter shrieks it's your fault he overdrafted even though he hasn't worked since 1978. Focus on how lucky you are to be on that side of the counter instead of how amazing it would feel to give him a knuckle sandwich for lunch. Something is better than nothing. You're limited by your creativity, not when things don't go your way. So hopefully we're getting a better sense of how we can take control when things unfold unfavorably. If there's anything I've learned in this life, it's that things are destined to unfold unfavorably. The examples I've given, of course, are not one size fits all. However, I hope they illustrate this. You are not victim to your circumstance, only to your lack of creativity. There are countless scenarios we might encounter on a day-to-day -day basis, no two ever being entirely the same. With that, our reactions to these will have to morph and flow in order to keep pushing the needle in the right direction. All is not lost the moment something doesn't go our way. It just makes the story of triumph more interesting. As always, I hope you found something useful in this post. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop a comment below, send us an email, or schedule a call. Thanks for the read. Thanks for the watch. See you on the next one.